Hey yo everyone, this is a happy anime cafe manager here with another let's play for Final Fantasy X. <sighs> There's more Blitzball tutorials. In Blitzball, players expand HP to perform actions. Think of HP here as stamina because players remain conscious even if their HP drops to zero. The first thing to remember is that whoever has the ball steadily loses HP while carrying it through the water. Watch how Tia's HP falls from 100 as he carries a ball. Ugh. As you can see, HP decreases when the ball is carried. Shooting and passing also consume HP. Let's take a look. Select shoot. Each uh, shot consumes 10 HP. Watch closely as Tia's loses 10 HP. That is explain. As you can see, his HP decreased from 26 to 16. In Blitzball, all actions require HP. Now let's see what happens when HP runs low. Players can still shoot even if their hit point points fall falls below 10. But when they do, their shots are only half as effective. Whenever HP is too low at the commands are highlighted blue, also note that SH is reduced from 10 to 5. That's Each player slowly regains HP once he is rid of the ball. Yeah, that's what I thought. Encounters. An encounter occurs when the opposing player come in contact with the ball carrier. If you are the ball carrier, the action command menu will open. You must decide on the course of action in the face of opposing players. Bricks and rushes. For now, select no break. We'll explain breakthroughs later. Bricks and stands and teases his way. His stats are displayed at the top right. The, the next action command window will appear. Select pass for now. Normally, a ball is thrown here. It would lose PA as it travels through the water. But in an encounter, opposing players try to block your passes and shots. BL pre represents the player's skill at blocking. Here is Bixen's blocking stat at 2. A pass loses an, an amount of PA equal to Bixen's BL. The actual calculation is slightly randomized. If a PA falls to 0 or less, the ball is intercepted by the opposing player. In this example, PA is 10 and BL is 2. The estimated result is 10 minus 2 equals 8. As long as PA is at least 1, the pass goes through. Once pass, once through, the pass continues in, to expend PA as it travels toward the intended receiver. Watch pass closely as we resume play. The defender reduced the PA of the pass when he got a hand on it. Now let's see what happens when the defender's BL is much higher. The defender's high BL reduced the PA of the pass to zero, resulting in a turnover. Some encounters include multiple defenders. Let's see how that works. Vixen and Abus block your way. Their stats are shown at the top right. 4 plus 2 equals 6, minus 10, okay, 
and it equals to 4. But since the results are slightly randomized, it won't necessarily equal 4. The pass went through, but its PA fell to zero before reaching the receiver, resulting in a bad pass. Now let's try shooting the goal. When you attempt to shoot, the goalkeeper also comes in, so you're now facing three opponents. Subtract the stats beneath SH from the current value to determine what, whether the shot scores. Defenders trying to enforce encounters to block shots and passes. Block reduces effective pass and shots. Multiple defenders combine their blocks. We'll look, look through breakthroughs in this section. You've encountered three opposing players. PA represents passing accuracy. Here is a player's pass stat at. At 17, the defender's blocking stats appear beneath. The results of 17 minus 19 is less than 0, so any attempt at, at passing will surely fail. Let's try a breakthrough here. The ball carrier will try to shake off the defenders by breaking through their tackles. If he withstands their tackles, the breakthrough succeeds and fewer defenders remain. Let's try breaking through Grav by keeping an eye at Grav's attack during the breakthrough. Breakthrough Grav. You've decided to make a breakthrough Grav before making your next move. Now Grav will tackle Titus. If Titus can't withstand the tackle, he'll give up the ball. It takes endurance to withstand tackles. Right now, Titus' endurance is 11. Tell us how hot. Attack tells us how hard tackle will hit. This defender's AT is 7. Subtract AT from endurance to determine the outcome of the tackle. If any is reduced to 0, then the tackler steals the ball. Watch endurance closely. Tidus endured the tackle and broke through Grav. The breakthrough was successful, only two defenders remain. Look at the stats shown underneath PA. Since Grav is out of the picture, he can't block passes anymore. Completing a pass should be much easier now. Break through as many defenders as you can to complete more passes and more score more goals. Tech copy. Players can learn techniques from their opponents. This is called tech copy. Techno copy. First, have one of your players mark on an opponent who knows a desirable technique. Now that player will keep an eye on that opponent in order to learn his technique. Techniques. Picks and rushes. Technocopy reappears at the top of the screen when a player uses technique during a game. This indicates that 
a window of opportunity to learn the te that technique. Press X at the right time in order to learn it. Let's try it now. Select dribble for now. Tech copy failed. Just remember that the player who learns the technique is not necessarily the one who is used against it. Players who have marked that opponent are the ones who learn the tech, his techniques. If multiple players have marked him, only one will learn at any one time. Your players may have trouble learning techniques, though, if they are lower levels than their respective target. Once you've learned a new technique, you can equip it at halftime or at the start of the next match. HP spent when carrying the ball, spent when shooting, passing, recovers when moving without the ball. PA and S pass and shoot are halt when HP is low. Endurance ability to withstand tackles, opposing stat attack. Passing accuracy, higher pass enables longer passes, opposing stat blocks. Shooting skill, higher shot enables longer shots, opposing stats block. Forgot what CA. Attack strength of tackles opposing endurance. Skills that block shots and passes opposing stance pass shots. Goalie skill at catching shots. Oh, that's it. That's what that meant. Opposing stat shots. Status ailments. Poison. Accelerates a loss of HP while the player has the ball. Poison players do not recover HP when rid of the ball. In time, poison runs its course. Poison also disables technique. Shooting techs are lost first. Ball by tackling techs and passing techs if the poison effects are stacked with pile venom. A player becomes unable to act when put to sleep. The player will wake after a while or when it is hit by the ball. Wither reduces a single stat by half, the effects wear off over time. Techniques You can learn Blitzball techniques by tech, tech copying them from opposing players or by using pr the prizes given that to the top teams of each season or tournament. Initially, each player can only learn certain techniques, but by learning certain te key techniques, a player can increase the number of techniques available to him. The required key techniques vary by each player and each time a player learns a key technique, he gains access to a broader range of techniques. Ten games are played during Elite League season with, with the club. winner determined by a total of three points are awarded for a win and one point for a tie. You can press triangle to forfeit a game but only when your team is losing. Tournaments span two to three matches. There are no draws, so a match ending with a tight score goes in, into overtime. You could press triangle to forfeit the game, but only when your team is losing. Exhibition games are for practice. No experience points are rewarded for playing, but you could copy techniques. Press triangle at any time to forfeit the game. Man, that's a long tutorial for something that isn't the main part of the game. Yeah, you're telling me. There you are. Someone said they saw some Ori in the cafe. Uh, Ori? Yes, Sir Ori. Let's go find him.
Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jack is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the Oren Yuna was talking about. And the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Yeah, a lot of time bur burned for for that Blitzball tutorial. Oh, good thing I checked this area. Got two high potions. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.